and quickly give up, then I can easily say you can have a minus 20 on your quiz and we can just call it good, right? If you're just going to leave these two problems blank. So anyways, we have all these identities that we wrote down for this, right? So maybe with all these identities, I could rewrite these by using, I don't know, I can't, I'm not going to use the even odd or the co-function identities, but Pythagorean doesn't look like it's really applied. Um, I could apply the Pythagorean over here. But why don't I just use the reciprocal identities? Let's do that. So that's 1 over cosine of theta. This is cosine of theta. Oh, let's do reciprocal. So that becomes tangent of theta times 1 over sine of theta. And we want that to equal to the right side. Now, you guys agree, everything I just did there is mathematically correct. I didn't change the value of the left side of the equation. Would everybody agree? So I, I applied this. I tried something. Does this get me anywhere closer to that? Does anything like divide out or simplify? Yes. Oh, 1 over tangent. Sorry, thank you. 1 over tangent theta. Right? Does, does this help me out, though? Did I, did I, I did everything right, but it didn't really help me out, though. Correct? Yes? So I say, all right, well, guess the reciprocal functions aren't really working that well. Now, I, I have an idea. I want, again, my end result is to get to cosine squared of theta. I want the left side to be sure it's equal to the right side. So one thing when you get stuck, and we'll do problems where you guys will try different things, another thing to do is just to write everything in terms of sines and cosines. So instead of writing cotangent of theta as 1 over tangent, look what happens when I write this as the quotient identity, cosine of theta over sine of theta. Now I have a cosine in the numerator, cosine in the denominator. That's 1 over sine of theta times 1 over sine of theta. 1 over sine of theta over 1 over sine of theta is 1 over sine squared of theta. And is 1 over sine squared of theta equal to cosecant of theta? Yeah. And there you go. That would be the correct work that I'd like to see on a quiz. That wasn't that bad, was it?